Knockoff in China. It is quite a difficult subject, isn't it? But what will happen when they stop doing it? And they come up with something that is actually half decent. Here is Long Gone, uh, Sang Yu. Sang Yu. Or some people might actually recognize that name as Koyu or Kosaki because, um, yeah, this is the same guy where the SD Sangu then um, limited edition uh, uh, model kit was actually based on the Koyu Turn X or Kosaki Turn X, depending on how you pronounce it. But uh, closest to the original name in Chinese, it will be Sangu. And so, Long Gone or Little White Dragon. That's what their name stands for, by the way. Yeah, they seem to have picked up a either a cartoon, a 3D, um, 3D cartoon or com or computer game that was made in China, and taken one of the major character, one of the mythical, uh, most apparently the most powerful general in China. It's almost mythical. I don't think he's real. Maybe part real. No, not quite sure. But yeah, they make a model out of him. And yeah, looks pretty decent. The 3D model, you can obviously see that it's actually fake. It's actually mo um, it's actually just a mo just a mock-up on the computer model. But yeah, from what I could see, this kit is completely original. By the way, this is also fake as well. So it's, yeah, it's absolutely certain that it's fake because none of those actually look the same. Uh, yeah, so this is a quite good. Big, uh, instruction. It's done pretty well. There's a little bit of a description of the storyline, which sort of tells me that it must be based on some sort of cartoon or some sort of um, some sort of computer game. By the way, it looks really, really nice. But uh, yeah. But well, let me show you this kit. And here it is. Now, first of all, that face in there that is not uh what the kids came with with uh the gate the kid came with a human face which i'm going to show you now yes i'm going to remove it right now now because of that is horrible and as you can see that's the reason i did not use it i have a old gundam 1 to 100 scale gundam kit uh, which i'm not going to um going to keep many more and i decided to take the head apart cut the face bit and put it inside so it looks better but uh yeah the color is not right this is uh, unpainted and yeah let's come to the first thing about it he's unpainted and he looks not bad not too bad uh all of the gold chrome are pretty nice but uh like all chrome people decide to put all of the gates at the most obvious place so you can see black bits and pieces sticking out so yeah, those chrome are, go are going. Um, there's a lot of gold paint. It's actually applied to all of the armor bits and pieces, but uh, they're not very well done. And once again, gate. You paint a place where the gates are. Yeah. But then, is in general, he's molded in um, this dark blue, dark red, uh, some of the chrome gold, and two pieces of clear orangey red thingy uh, let's see there is a bit of um, a skin tone yellow plastic here uh, that is on the same frame as the face I think they were just trying to save uh, yeah save money that's why they decided to put them all on the same uh, same tree and it does come with a lot of um, poly caps those polycaps are more than certain to be um, duplicate of what Bandai has been using, but to be honest, polycap is a bit difficult to actually consider who is copying who anymore. Colorbook here and Wave has been doing similar uh, similar polycaps for ages now. I can't really say which one is the original, which one is not. Uh, other than that, everything on him are brand new. I haven't seen anything on here that exists on other kits before. Some ideas, yes, but not except copy of anything. They have managed to do something brand new on everything on this kit. So uh, yeah, all of this arm, by the way, all of this uh, 
dark blue armor kit comes off. And whoops, that's a fist. By the way, the the fists are molded in uh, a rubbery polycap each plastic, but it's much harder. So all oh, this armor does come off, and inside there is actually a full uh, fully articulated um, yellow body. Uh, not yellow, yellow, red body. So if you take all the armor off, which by the way um, seems to be designed to be taken off because uh, I'm going to show you a little bit of it. Yeah, he, as you can see, there is a red frame inside the whole whole body where all the armor plated are uh, armor plate going over, which is a very clever move, especially for a company without uh, too much money and trying to go into a brand new mode because this means that. They can reuse the inside frame and just remote new arm bits and pieces. And that would definitely save cost in terms of creating new modes. Ooh, the front is harder to, to get off than the, than the back. But yeah, I'm not going to do it. Yeah, it's, otherwise, it's just keep on falling apart. But yeah, there are pre plenty of articulation thanks to the. Uh, the frame on the inside, but uh, unfortunately with all the armor, it severely hinder everything. So head is on a single ball joint, so it can look left and right, up and down. But the faceplate does actually hinder a little bit by the um, uh, by the collar. There is a mid torso joint here, which allows it to turn a lot without the armor, in fact 360 without the armor, and a little bit with the armors on. Uh, the arm is packed into into poly cap, so it can raise pretty high up, even with the armor. The armor does move around, so it doesn't really matter. And it does go around 360, of course. Um, there's a biceps, biceps swivel down here, so you can turn 360. There is a single poly cap joint down here uh, at the elbow, which allows it to bend about well, 90 degrees, and the hand is packed in in a, in a ball joint, polycap ball joint, so it can wiggle and do 360, mainly 360, doesn't wiggle too much. Uh, let's see, the leg, the leg is packed in, as you can see, into polycap, which means it can go forward quite a bit without armor and back without the armor, and it can do absolutely nothing with the armor on. Uh, no, no, I take that back. It can go out about this much. That's it. Unless the armor go out a little bit, then it can go up a little bit more. Not a lot. Uh, does have a swivel uh, just underneath the hip joint, so it can do 360. Uh, double ball, uh, double joint on the knee, but not a lot. It's only about about 80 degrees, 70 degrees, 75 degrees. No, no is 90, 90, 100, 110, I mean. Uh, polycaps up here at, at the ankle, so it can go front and back. Uh, packs in, so it can rotate, 360. And then there's a polycap down there again, so it allows it to do that. So, quite a lot of articulation, but uh, the armor is hindering everything. Just like uh, most heavily armored uh, style Gundam, you can see things like those things like the uh, what was it things like the Shin Musha Gundam, uh, the Musha Gundam Mark II, both of them are heavily armored and therefore yeah quite a bit hindered by the uh, by the armor pieces. So uh, the kit also comes with one weapon, and that is this very very long clave, which is taller than him, and it looks pretty nice. It's only two pieces, a long stick and a and a clave at the, yeah and a clave hook thing at the end. But yeah, it's pretty nice. He has a specially designed uh, body cap hand for holding it, which is yeah, it's good enough. You manage to hold it. So besides the kit itself, it also comes with a office knockoff of the Tamasi stage, 
Well, we're not going to talk about it. You know the time to stage. It's good. Um, oh, some of the hands um, that are splayed out hand, like this. And close face like that one, and this one. And the holding hand there, and this one. So you can see the holding hand has a, uh, has a little bit of round hole um, slot that was cut in for holding holding the weapon. But that's not all. On the menu, there is a horse. And in the kit, there is a horse. Ooh, that's big. Uh, hmm. Ah, you're not going to see the whole thing, aren't you? Uh, there you go. There's a horse. It's big. It is big. And yeah, he got some armor as well. By the way, uh, this piece has to come off, and there is a proper head inside it. And all of this gold piece has to come off as well, except for that. That is the tail, which you can pull off. But now you don't want to do that to a horse. That's poor. That's very, very bad taste to maim a horse like that. But yeah, it's fine, I guess. Uh, the one problem with it, really wide. If you can, if you look at it here, um, his front two leg is definitely too wide to be a horse. It looks, the head is a horse, but oh, by the way, it does have some articulation, not a lot. Um, they're all, the limbs are all on 360 ball joints, so they go all the way around and they splay out a little bit. Only about this much. Um, they all got a knee joint, so the front can bend 90 degrees backward. Uh, the back can bend, bend forward and backward a little bit, not a lot. Uh, all the hoof got a is on the ball joint, so they do wiggle a bit. Tail go ups and down, and it does rotate a little bit. Yeah, the head can't turn left and right, which is a shame, uh, because they're just they're just packed into polycap swivel joint. Uh, yeah, swivel joint, so they just go up and down. And yeah, there is this piece of armor which goes over the head, and with that on, he looked more like a Krillin a chimera in China than a horse. Maybe that's what they were going for. Now, Sangyu Kachuk can ride um, his horse, but uh, to actually do that, you have to take the front skirt armor and the back skirt armor off. Whoops. By the way, uh, this cape on the back does come off rather easily. And you can say that to almost everything on this kit, to be honest. Uh, there is a quality issue in terms of the uh, in terms of the things packing it together. But yeah, once you take those two off, you can put him onto the horse. And assuming the knee armor don't fall off or lock into anything, he can ride it. There we go. Yeah, it's not too bad. He at least his feet is actually off the ground. I have seen uh, horse, yeah, model of a uh, kid with, on a horse where the rider is literally standing on the ground and it looked ridiculous. And this one is not too bad. At least there's some gap off the ground. Yeah, it looks mighty if you just look at the top. As long as you don't see that bit, he looks perfectly fine. But yeah. So, would I recommend this kit? Uh, only if you experience modeler. One thing I am quite happy, and the reason I actually buy this kit, even though it's quite expensive, uh, is almost was it is a way is the very, very cheap uh, master grade price. But it, to be honest, this is a high grade or slightly slightly above high grade sort of quality. Uh, but I'm willing to pay for it mainly because um, this is a unique kit. This kit is one of those signs where, once again, people are striving away from uh, for knockoffs and actually going for something unique. The character is unique. is a is a brand new is a brand new character from a show 
that they managed to hold license on. Um, the kit itself, overall, almost I would say everything is brand new. And now quality wise, um, there's a lot of seam line that need to be addressed. As I said before, the gold chrome are not very well done, so you have to, you probably have to paint them there to make them look nice. The gold paints are not very well, well done either. A lot of um, paints that are mis mispaint or painted way over, or they're simply at places where the uh, where all the gates are, so you end up going to send them down and have to repaint them to have to make them look nice. The horse is come is completely unpainted, so there's a lot of detail. All of those need some gold paint. And I do wish that they actually have thought of a better stand than just copying other people's. It would be nice if they have invented a dedicated stand just for it, just for this guy. But yeah, uh, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to paint this guy. Uh, I might do a special color scheme because I don't like the red. I think that should be something different. And the blue is a bit off. I think the blue might get a tone down to something a bit more rustic. It's my style anyway. And the horse needs a, need a brand new color scheme on it anyway. It looks a bit too weird in this metallic gray color. So yeah, um, next time you're going to see it, it's going to be painted. So until then, join me next time.